Hi, I'm Tom from LSI Garage. Today we have a 2004 F250 Ford with the Power Stroke diesel in it. We're going to be changing the air filter. This should be changed every time your restriction gauge shows in the red or if not soon before. I will take you through the process of changing it. There's just a few clips that holds it into place. Um, don't forget, always wear safety glasses and if you need, you have safety gloves, wear those also. Let's get started. Okay, we're back to our F-250. We're gonna replace the air filter in it now. Uh, these sit down on rubber grommets down on the bottom. They clip in here pretty hard. So you gotta wrestle with it a little bit to get it out, so have some patience. There is a arrow on it facing the engine. That way you don't attempt to put it in wrong. I don't think you can, but the arrow goes towards the engine. A couple little clips that just flip over. Push the piece towards the firewall, the air intake, and try to lift up on it out of the rubber seal. There we go. Just like that, it's got the clamps. The arrow goes towards the engine. Sit this one off the side. Sit the new one down in here. Clips down into place. that in, slide this end up into place here. Takes a little bit of time and patience to do it. There we go. You can feel it when it clips in. these clips pop out on you and how to get them put back into place here. Okay, at this time after it's back in place, there's a, I can just pull this out and show you. This is in the end of the filter housing. There's a little button, push it down and reset it and it'll pull your restrictor gauge up. This is a yellow disc that I was talking about earlier and when your filter is plugged it'll go down there towards the red. That's when you re always replace your filter, if not sooner. But this just pushes in a rubber grommet in the back side of your housing. Okay we have our new filter installed on our 2004 F250 Ford. Thanks for watching our videos.